Hello and welcome to the Biopharma Finder help videos. In this video I'm going to show you how to add modifications using the protein sequence editor. On the screen I've already imported my protein sequence using a FASTA file. Please see our other videos on how to import or add protein sequences to the software. First I'm going to show you how to add static modifications. Static modifications are done in the protein sequence map. So you simply click on an amino acid and double click and the manager will pop up and this is how you're going to add static modifications. In this example I clicked on a cysteine residue and you can see that we have side chain options. If this was an N-terminal I would have N-terminal modifications options and if it was the C-terminus I'd have C-terminal modification options. Since this is a side chain I can click here and you'll see the list of available modifications for this specific residue. So I'm going to choose the top one. I can see the mass of the modification and in this example I want to apply this static modification to all of my cysteines. So I'm simply going to check apply to all, click OK, and you'll notice that all the cysteines are now highlighted in blue. If I want to remove one of these modifications I can double click on the modification on the modified residue, I can hit clear, and you'll notice now the modification has been removed. If I want to add an N-terminal static modification, I click on the N-terminus, and now you can see I have this option to add N-terminal modifications. I can add the modification, click OK, and the software will highlight that residue as it has a, a static modifications. Static modifications are assume that the mass is always changed to that so the software will use this new mass it does not uh, search the data with it on or off so static modifications the residue now has a new mass but what if you um, are not sure let's say that you're you want the software to look for um, oxidation but you don't know if all the methionines in your sample have been oxidized that would be a variable modification. And so to add variable modifications, you could use the tab over here to the right of the software called Variable Modifications. Click on it, and now you'll see how you can add variable modifications. Here we break them up again as N-terminus, C-terminus, and sidechain. We have some preloaded default values that you can add by simply clicking Load Default Values. And you can do this for each type. So this is how you add the side chain defaults, the C terminal defaults, and if you have any N terminal defaults, you would click Add Defaults here. You can remove these by simply highlighting it and hit the Remove button, and you can add manually by highlighting on the left side and adding it to the right side. The, I mean, the modifications that are on the right hand side of the software will be the modifications that are used during the searching process. To change or edit the default modification list, you can click up above uh, on the default modification tab. A separate window will appear and in here you can check any of the modifications that you would like to add. The ones that are highlighted in blue are the ones that uh, we recommend or that we we often use a lot. Uh, so you those that way you'll know they're there. And if you do add a custom modification, it will show up in purple. So as you add and build uh, your database of information, the software will keep track of that for you uh, even after you close and reopen the software. But you'll be able to distinguish these custom modifications because they'll be purple in color. So you can see this is how we add uh, variable modifications. And you can also add, add N-glycans. So uh, the software will do a uh, glycopeptide search for peptide mapping and intact analysis. And here you can choose uh, from two different databases. We have a CHO database for the host cell and we have a human database for the host cells. And when you choose one of these, uh, you'll have um, almost over 200 different glycan structures that the software will search against. You could also add uh, glycan uh, modifications of variable modifications if you'd like to do that in the software as well. 
if you need to add a custom modification, so a modification that we don't currently have in the software, you can do that using the modification editor. So if you click this, you again see N terminal, C terminal, sidechain. If you'd like to add, let's add a sidechain modification. So we just name the modification, we select our residue, we enter in our masses, we click OK. And when we do that, it shows up on our list now. So now you can go back and add that custom modification. And again, the software will save this information for you. Okay, thank you for watching how to add modifications to your sequence.